Welcome to your new home in Luton. The aim of this video is to provide you with an overview of the mechanical and electrical systems that exist within your apartment and help you identify the key elements. For any additional questions, please reach out to your contact at concierge or building management. Your apartment may appear slightly different to the one featured within this video, whether it has an extra bedroom or one less bathroom, for example. However, the main functions discussed will absolutely be relevant to you. Depending on the layout of your apartment, there will either be one or two service cupboards where the systems are located. Let's start with the mechanical systems. This is an example of a service cupboard. It houses the domestic manifold, allowing individual isolation of cold water throughout the apartment, your hot water cylinder, your domestic hot water controller, and your washing machine, which is always situated beneath your cylinder. The mains cold water service isolation may be located on its own or as part of the main domestic manifold, like this here. If there is a need for the mains cold water to the apartment to be isolated, the valve labelled BCWS isolation needs to be closed by turning clockwise 90 degrees. This will cut all incoming water supply to the apartment, including bathrooms, kitchen and cylinder. It is only to be closed if there is maintenance being carried out, works on bathrooms or the kitchen, or in the unlikely event of a leak. Additionally, the domestic manifold allows the individual isolation of systems within your apartment, such as cold water to the kitchen, bathroom or hot water cylinder. All of these are clearly labelled. The hot water system serves your kitchen and bathroom. Cold water is fed into the cylinder and warmed up by either single or dual electric immersions, depending on the apartment size. If it is single, your time clock controller will look like this, and dual like this. Both controllers work in the same way. You can set up the system to come on and go off whenever you like. The factory settings are simple to understand. There is also a boost button if you just want to turn it on for a limited period. Please refer to the Home User Guide for further instruction on how to set up time schedules and other user-defined settings. Should you need to isolate the hot water system, there are three ways this can be done. Local isolation can be done by switching the labelled fused spur on the wall next to the controller. Mains electrical isolation could be done from the distribution board by switching the hot water cylinder breaker. And isolating the water to the cylinder can be done by closing the cylinder isolation valve on the previously seen domestic manifold. All washing machines are situated beneath your hot water cylinder. For operation instructions, please refer to your home user guide. Power to your washing machine can be switched off with an easily reachable plug. The cold water to your washing machine can be isolated by turning the washing machine valve. Finally, please ensure that your washing machine waste pipe is connected prior to use. These ceiling grills are part of the ventilation system, which is a clean air system within your home. The Mechanical Ventilation Heat Recovery Unit, MVHR for short, extracts dirty air and supplies clean air into your home. The unit comes pre-commissioned and set up, so nothing will require changing or adjusting. The LCD screen that you see on the front is for maintenance purposes only. The maintenance that is required, though, is that it is advised to clean the filters every six months with a hoover. Please ensure the unit is electrically isolated prior to doing this. The unit system can be isolated via the fused spur on the wall. The unit has three different settings, boost, trickle and purge. These can be determined by how you move around your home. The system will run continuously on trickle until the kitchen or bathroom lights are turned on, whereby the system will then run in boost mode, getting rid of cooking smells as well as condensation within the bathroom. 
purge mode can be activated by using the switch adjacent to the MVHR unit, labelled Ventilation System Boost. This is a manual setting to temporarily increase the flow rate of the supply and extract air within the apartment, but is designed for short-term use and should not be left on for long periods of time. The bathroom towel radiators are electric. Isolation is via a fused spur which would either be external to the bathroom or inside the service cupboard. These radiators are very easy to control via the controller built into the unit, set the temperature and decide how long you want it on for using the up and down arrows and set button. Further information on setting up user-defined schedules can be found in your home user guide. There is a sprinkler system installed throughout your apartment. In a fire situation, the white cover cap will drop from the sprinkler valve if it reaches a temperature of 57 degrees Celsius. The fusible link within the sprinkler valve then has to reach 74 degrees Celsius before releasing water to fight the fire. These are life safety systems. These caps are not to be touched, removed or covered. In the bathroom, you can change the water temperature of both your bath and your shower very easily. You can also switch between the standard fixed shower head and the handheld head. Now for the electrical systems. Your consumer unit is situated in your service cupboard. All circuits are labelled up for ease of identification. There is a mains isolation switch, which if switched will isolate and turn off all electricity within the whole apartment. If there is a faulty appliance within your apartment, a circuit may trip. If so, ensure the item that tripped the circuit is identified, unplugged and then reset the circuit by flipping the switch upwards to on again. If the fault persists, please contact building management. The kitchen grid switch can be found in an upper cupboard in the kitchen. It allows you to isolate and switch off your fridge freezer, cooker hood, dishwasher and oven. There is also a switch to isolate the hob. The electric panel heaters can be turned on and off at the wall. Once the power is turned on, there are buttons on the side of the panel to increase or decrease the temperature. If you would like to set them to turn on and off at a set time, there are several presets or you can set your own timings. Please refer to your home user guide for further instructions on how to set user-defined schedules. TV and media points can be found in the living room and the bedrooms. There are Virgin TV ports as well as BT broadband as standard throughout each apartment. Smoke and heat detectors are fitted throughout the apartment for your safety. The system is a localised domestic fire alarm system only and is not linked to the central building system. However, each device within your apartment is still linked, so if a kitchen alarm sounds, all other devices within the apartment will sound. To test both the smoke detector and the heat detector, just push the test button sharply. All smoke and heat detectors are mains powered, but have a battery backup. If the batteries require a change in either the smoke or heat detectors, you simply take a flathead screwdriver, push it into the slot and slide. Keep hold of the unit as you do this and then change the battery. The intercom system not only allows you to see who is at the building entrance, but also to grant access to them. It will send an elevator down to the ground floor and will only give them access to the floor that you are living on. This is added security and prevents anyone being able to just wander in. On behalf of G&H Building Services, enjoy your new home.